Hey, I hope you are doing well in the midst of the um, stay home orders and quarantining, whatever you want to call it all. Uh, and I thought about something in the midst of all this that's, um, I don't know, I guess it's a little bit ironic uh, that we're really, it's like we've been transported back in time to what people sometimes call Bible times. Uh, and I know oftentimes some of the especially when I think of the Old Testament stuff that relates to this, people dismiss it. Uh, I think the Bible is outdated, uh, not helpful, um, silly, and of course, therefore dismiss God uh, as a result as well. But uh, our, our shelter in place, the, the, the quarantine, all that, is exactly what God had his people do when they were sick. Uh, you know, we think back to uh, in Leviticus, which is certainly not the most well-read book of the Bible. Uh, I think it's in chapter 13. It talks about how people who have uh, an infection should um, remove themselves from the, from the people and be outside of camp uh, for a number of days as long as the infection is there um, as a way of protecting the others. And they're supposed to even call out while they're, you know, in, until they leave, call out, unclean, unclean. I mean, wouldn't that be nice to know when you're shopping at Costco or Safeway that if someone was sick, that they would actually let you know. Um, so, you know, that's what they did. And then, and then, and then people would be outside of camp for a time as well, quarantined, uh, in isolation. And that's exactly what we're doing. And I, I it just, I just find it so ironic, I guess, that the kinds of things that are in scripture that cause some people to dismiss it out of hand, such as, such as that kind of stuff. Um, here we are living into it. It's exactly the advice that our, uh, medical experts and government leaders are asking us to do so that we might prevent the spread of, of the coronavirus. So I uh, just, uh, I found that ironic a little bit and interesting. And yet it also in the end really, uh, causes me to uh, lean into God, lean into his word, and find uh, a greater sense of respect, actually, for the Bible and allowing it to speak into my life. So maybe it might do the same for you. Uh, there may be some parts of it that you've always thought were dismissive or somehow discredited the Bible that maybe they're being redeemed in this time. So uh, God's best to you wherever you are as you shelter in place as you practice social distancing and pray that you would actually be drawn close to the Lord in this time. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.